What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Comic Fix where this has been one of the hardest videos for me to do. But this is Border Towns issue number three. This is a very political, political book. It is very far left, as far left as you can get. Now, you can just see from this little quote right here, Border Town excels by ruining itself in politics and identity, giving teens their own voice. Which is great. Giving teens their own voice is really great. But when you have a book that has it where anybody who has white skin is evil, that kind of gets to me. And you could definitely tell, like, the politics is just thrown right at you. You just feel like the first little thing right here. There was a time when this land was unspoiled by borders, fear, and hate. Now, yes, I do realize that hate and fear are thriving in today's day and age. And a book could come out and acknowledge these um, fears that we're having as a... But this book right here does nothing to, like, just try to say, hey, how can we fix this? How how can um, we be better people? No, this this book thrives on the fear. And that, that's probably a point that this um, writer is taking with this book. Where you just see here, you got ICE taking away an uh, immigrant. Or a person who has come into the country illegally. And then, I mean, really, like, you got this white lady right here being like, All right, you got him. No, I am glad to see that this guy just has a look. I don't know if it's a look of concern or a being pissed i don't know but you just have like things like this and just kind of gets at me it's like really if like i was working with somebody and they were illegal and they were taken away i would feel bad for them you know especially if they were a good person but nope this book has to make the point of that ice is bad and borders and Protecting our borders is bad, and it just <laughs> kind of gets to me. Um, and then we finally get to the story, where I finally, okay, now I can kind of get rid of the political bullshit and just focus on the story that this um, that these kids are going through. And you have these chupacabras who are trying to get at these kids to get at this little cute guy. Now, this little cute guy really won me over in the second issue, but he's really not in this issue at all. So these um, chupacabras are trying to get in. And now, the thing is, with these chupacabras, th whoever they see, the the fear, or the thing that they are most fearful of, they will represent. So, like, let's say you're a cop. And what's the one thing you fear the most? A guy in a Colin Kaepernick jersey. A black guy in a Colin Kaepernick jersey. And they're all just... Try, trying to break into this building. And what did the cops do? They shoot him. Shoot him just straight dead. Now, before that scene happened, this gal right here, she finds out that the creatures uh, feed off the fear and how they become what you're most fearful of. So what does she do? She calls the cops. Because she's like, I know. The one thing that cops like to do most is kill black people. And it happens. And so, just like little things like that, I'm just like, wow, everything is so black and white here. Now, I would have loved in this scene where when she calls the cops and the cops come, that they see something else besides a, a regular black guy in a Colin Kaepernick jersey. And she already assumes that all cops are killers and it just, it, it gets to me. And then you got this lady who's telling them, all right, uh, they, no, they're questioning, like, okay, what did the cops see? What did the cops see? I would have loved if, like, in a couple panels, we saw what one cop saw, maybe they saw this, but the other cop saw something completely different. That would have made it a little bit better, besides each one of them seeing the same damn thing. And so they kill the, they kill the black people. And I just have to hit my head. It's just it, this issue just gets to me. And so these kids are like, "Oh, what do they see?" And this lady's like, "All right, uh, now that you know what we're facing, I need to train you." And of course, our um, our black gal, 
I'm with the new kids. You, I'm with, I'm with the new kid. You saw what just happened. You think anyone else in this town will lay their life on the line for my black ass? It's this book is putting everybody in a little in a little corner. They're like saying that this is the way the world works. And where I'm looking at this book, I'm like, this is not the way the world works. Not at all. And then the kids go back to school. And it's just dealing with a whole bunch of like, oh my god, the world's going to end. And the teachers don't really talk. Like, everybody in this book is playing a stereotype. Stereotype, stereotype, stereotype. You got the Nazi guy who's a fucking stereotype. You have... This teacher who is another stereotype. And he's just like that stereotype of the teacher that just hates anybody that's not white. And he's kind of, seems like he's going to rape this girl just because she's Asian. And he obviously makes the thing like, I know there's not your, your people here. And I know we don't even have like a map. It's just... So much of this book, just the dialogue, the art is great, or the art is adequate, but just this dialogue, it just, it's getting, the, the whole scenario just feels so one-sided, and it feels hateful, and I don't know, I can't support this book anymore. The last thing I want to do is support a book that just seems... That we all as human race are all so fucked up. And maybe that's the point that this book is going for. But for me, for now, like... She she goes to put these markings on her face that's supposed to protect her from evil. And she, she stabs, it, stabs the apple in the heart. Of course, then there's Trump. It's just... Uh, this book. Wow. Border towns, you have characters that are so much being just uh, for a political viewpoint. They're not actually people. There's nothing in here that makes me feel like that the story is actually making a point. Besides, the point is that white, right, right, white. Republicans are evil and the left is right. <laughs> oh, this book, I hate it. I'm not even a, I don't even like the political game, I could care t less about. But when you have something that's so freaking hateful, it just it got to me. I, I doubt I'll be picking up any more at Border Town, but. Yeah, DC Vertigo. If this is the way your guys are gonna go, I I don't know if I can help but support your books. I can't support your books if this is the way you're gonna go. But I know with Vertigo, you try to do your best at making, um, you you DC test the waters a lot, and I hope that the word can come out that this book is just uh, too too politically charged in one direction to make me care. Well, my name is David Lee, and I hope you, well, I, I know I did enjoy this book. I did enjoy talking about all this political bullshit. I just wanted a good time with the comic, but I didn't get this with this with this book. Definitely won't be picking up issue number three, and this book's definitely going off the pull list. So, what do you think about this book? Let me know down below. I'm really afraid of the comments that will come up, but, oh well. <laughs> My name is David Lee and I'll see you guys next time.